please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Miller, Wright versus White. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Ms. Miller, you've summoned the defendant, Mr. White, to court to prove to him that he is not your biological father, even though he has believed he's your father your entire life. Yes, Your Honor. The man you now say is your father is waiting in the hallway and will join us in court in a moment. Uh, Mr. White, it was only two weeks ago that your daughter revealed to you that you may not be her father. You are 100% certain that you fathered Ms. Miller and plan to prove it in court today. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Miller, how is it that two different men are in court believing that they're your father? Um, I was raised um, around both men, but mainly around, around Mr. Wright. Um, I spent mo most time with Mr. Wright. I used to go over to his house um, twice out the month, and I hardly spent any time with Mr. White. So up until the age of me being a teenager, I called both of them dad. And once I found out, which um, was the day where my mom and my grandmother was in the bedroom, and I said I wanted to go to my dad's house, um, Mr. Wright. So my mom, um, her back was turned to me and she said, I don't know who your dad is and that she believed more so that Mr. Wright is than Mr. White is. And um, I've known this since I was a teenager. So at this point, I feel selfish because I continue to call both Mr. Wright and Mr. White my dad and neither of them knew of each other until two weeks neither ago. Neither men knew of the other one. So, Ms. Miller, tell me exactly what happened two weeks ago. Um, well, like I said before, I felt selfish because I didn't tell either of them, but I had to build up the nerve to actually call them, and I, um, I addressed both of them, hey, Dad, um, and I took a deep breath, and I was like, I want you to prove that you're my dad, and, um, Mr. White got quiet, and I asked him again, you know, I was like, you know, I really want to know because I don't know, and then I said, my mom told me that she doesn't really know who my father is. So pretty much, you've been living a lie yes. for 30 years. Yes. And you were told as a child mm -hmm. you had two fathers. Yes, Your Honor. It felt normal to me to call, to, to call both Mr. Wright and Mr. White my dad. It felt well, normal. listen, we have lots of blended families yeah. where there's a stepfather, there's a, you know, father. People call more than one person dad, but what it sounds like, which is so confusing mm -hmm. for a child is you were told that you had two yes. biological fathers. Yes, Your Honor. Which we know is Is not that possible, right. Mr. White, Ms. Miller's 30 years old. You weren't aware all of these years? Nope. That she was calling another man dad as well? Nope, I don't even know who he is. So the entire relationship, you're, this is your, your little girl. This is your daughter. Yes, Your Honor. When you got this call two weeks ago, what? What did you feel like? When I got that phone call, I was, I was wondering, where would you get this from out of 30 years? If she can find out that I'm not her father out of 30 years, somebody could have told me. Yeah. And I was with her mother every night. When she was born, I was with her mother eight years after she was born. So I'm trying to figure out how did he get in the middle of... And you still have no real information I still don't believe You've never seen this other man? I, I know not as I know of I am. So you lived as a family this whole time? Right. Exactly. Until she was eight years together. old. I didn't know that. My memory is kind of guarded, but um, I don't remember actually living, and I probably did because... My heart just breaks for you because I see you still trying to make sense yeah. of this. And I'm wondering, as a child, how, how is it that they were kept apart? How did... How did you manage that? I mean, you had things at school, did you not? No, and well... How, how did that happen, that they weren't both there? I think he probably wasn't invited to anything because she was dating him or he wasn't, you know, and vice versa. I think that she kept them apart which kept me knowing that, okay, I go over here, I don't mention this dad. I go over there, I don't mention And this you knew dad. that as yes. a child? Yes. Was that explained to you point blank, out in the open, this is how we do it, or was it unwritten, it, unsaid, and you just knew? It was unwritten. It's like a habit you pick up. Like once you see, um, I saw my mom talking to one, it was, you were forbidden to say the other's name. 
So what I did as a child was just picked up on what I saw. I I'm, I'm baffled, but what would happen on Father's Day? Your mother would just have you call both men? Um, well, on Father's Day, I, I, I never really had Mr. White's number like that. I didn't call him all the time, and he never had my number. I do want to apologize to Mr. White because I knew exactly where he was. But for so long, I just kept telling myself, you know, Mr. Mr. Wright is my father. And I hid from it. I hid from it. So what you did consciously or unconsciously is you put a wall up yes. between you and Mr. White. Yes. Once you began to truly feel that Mr. Wright was your biological father. Yes, Your Honor. I think it's time we meet this other gentleman. Will you please escort him into the courtroom? <clears throat> Thank you for joining us, Mr. Wright. How do you feel hearing this right now? I'm stunned. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Have you ever seen or met Mr. White? No, no ma'am. No young. You do realize at this point, Mr. Wright, that Mr. White believed over the last 30 years that he is Miss Miller's biological father. I'm her father. I've been in her life for 30 years. See, that's the thing. I feel like I've been living a double life because I don't even have, like, social sites now. Because if I do, like, family barbecues, which I spend a lot of time with Mr. Wright's side of the family, from barbecues to parties, birthdays, and I don't do that with Mr. White. For the sole purpose of other family members on Mr. White's side, you know, I don't want them to run back and tell him, like, who is this man? Miranda's calling her dad or to raise a lot of drama. So I just completely just close all social sites. I don't do any of that for that purpose. So you're living a double life. It's almost as if you're in hiding. Yeah. And is it because you don't want to hurt either side? My, my thing is that I love them both. So I'm afraid of the outcome. I don't, I don't want to hurt anybody. And, I, and I, I keep telling myself, it's not your fault, it's not your fault. But I feel like I'm, I am partially the blame because once I was old enough to say, okay, um, Mr. White, there's a possibility you're not my dad or I could have came to Mr. Wright, which I see him often and told him that you probably, you're not my dad or you probably, it's a possibility there's another man. I haven't, I haven't done any of that because I'm just scared, I guess. Just scared of the truth because like I said before, I'm closer to his side of the family. These people are your family. Yeah. And so I understand how you feel, and you are right. It's not your fault. Now, Mr. <laughs> Wright, I've asked Mr. White the same thing, but I want to know from you, when you got that call two weeks ago, what did you think? I was shocked. I was very shocked. And well, you had and no I... idea? No, none? No, Your Honor. No, Your Honor. 30 years? 30 years. This is your daughter? Yeah, this is my daughter. So tell me about the relationship you had with her growing up. Well, um, her grandmother called me, told me, you got a daughter. So when I got to the house, her grandmother brought her down the steps. I grabbed her and held her. And she held me back tight. Ever since then, that's my baby. That's my baby. Now, Mr. White, you didn't know she had a relationship with Mr. Wright. No, I didn't, Your Honor. And you say you were there through the pregnancy. Yes, Your Honor, I was. Neither one of them are on my birth certificate. And I asked Mr. White, Mr. White said that he thought it was a possibility that I wasn't his child. No, I didn't say that. Well, maybe I heard wrong. No, I didn't say that. You always been my child. All 30 years. And I'll never say that. But now she's in court today to prove you are not her biological father. Because it's true, you believe Mr. Wright is your biological father. Yes, Your Honor. I look so much like his entire family. From, from my grandmother to my auntie, um, his entire family looks just like me. The freckles, everything. We just look so much alike, the nose. And 
I mean, I just believe in me being around him so much. She's my daughter. She looked just like, she looked just like my mom. She looked just like my mom. What is that evidence you're presenting to me, sir? This is a photo of Ms. Miller... Yes, ma'am. ...and your mother. Yes, Your Honor. You see the resemblance, too, Ms. Yes, Miller. Yes, Your Honor, you everything. I, I see it all. When you look at that, Mr. White, do you see a resemblance? Mm. Yeah, I do. But you also submitted another photo to the court because you said you also feel like you look like Mr. White. Yeah. Oh, wow, I've never seen it side by side like that. And you see a resemblance there as well? Yes, Your Honor. Do you see a resemblance, Mr. Wright, of this photo of Ms. Miller and Mr. White? Yes, the nose. This is truly remarkable. Now, we talk a lot in this courtroom about, well, don't go on resemblance. But that was remarkable to look at a right, side by well, side. I never, I never saw me and of Mr. you White, yeah. and also of his mother. Yeah. Do you feel like you're here trying to prove that Mr. Wright is your biological father because you do have a closer connection with his family? I, I think I'm here now to seek my truth because I feel once I do find out the truth. I don't need their help. I will move forward and push to build a relationship with whomever it, turn, it turns out to be. I first commend you mm -hmm. yeah. for having the strength, 30 years old, just to come stand here and seek your truth. Mm -hmm. I have to say, though, this... This is one of the most amazing cases we've ever seen in this courtroom. I'm overwhelmed. I can only imagine what that must feel like for you. God, my heart is racing. I'm so nervous because now, that's why I said I'm here to seek my truth because once seeing both of those pictures, I'm like, wow, I, I don't even know, like, in my heart anymore. When my heart, I feel like Mr. Wright is my dad. But, like, my gut, my mind, everything is just, like, it's in the air. I think we've waited long enough and it's time for the results. Before I read these, I have to ask both gentlemen, and I want to thank you, too, for being so respectful to one another today and to Ms. Miller. This is um, a very difficult and emotional situation, and I see how much you both love her and the way you've conducted yourself today in this courtroom. I've really appreciated this. Um, I have to ask you, though, are you prepared, Mr. White, for a negative result? If it's determined you are not her biological father, have you prepared your mind and your heart for that? Yes, Your Honor. If it makes her happy, I'm happy. How about you, Mr. Wright? Have you prepared yourself for a negative result? Do you believe there's any possibility you could not be her biological father? And if so... That's my baby. Mm. Yeah. Well, let's get to the results. Yes. They were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, mm -hmm. and they read as follows. In the case of Miller, Wright versus White, when it comes to whether Mr. Wright or Mr. White is the biological father of 30-year-old Miranda Miller. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. It has been determined by this court Ms. Miller's biological father is Mr. White. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I feel so bad for you. I'm sorry. I'm so... God. Oh, God. Mr. Wright. Mm -hmm. 
Mr. Wright, I'm so sorry. I know that was not the news oh, wow. you wanted or expected. Oh my God, why? Oh, I do need to sit down. Mr. Wright, are you okay? Can you just breathe? No. <clears throat> 30 years. That's my baby. No matter what, she's still my baby. Oh my God. She's still my daughter. I'm sorry. You're welcome. You if you'd like to go down and sit, you may. See, I'm. You came here today, Ms. Miller, because you needed the truth. But let's make one thing clear. That in no way changes right. the love you have for Mr. Wright, right. his family, the connection you have. This double life, this, this needed to end today. Yeah. The big picture is that you have two men mm -hmm. that love you. One is your biological father, but both are your daddy. Yeah. <laughs> Remember this. This was not your fault, okay? I wish you all the very best of luck. Court is adjourned. Yeah.